All right, how's it going, guys? So we are back here in KSP2. And today's video, like the title says, we are going to be assembling a fuel station in orbit of Minmus. So we're launching our first fuel station part. This is going to be like the central hub that all the fuel tanks and I guess vessels wishing to refuel can connect to. But they'll also be able to connect to the tanks, so that's not necessarily true that this is the only way a refueling vessel could connect to it, but it's the main the main part of the fuel station. So we're just gonna plan our maneuver here. I'll show you what I do, and then we're just gonna go ahead and skip to to min miss here. So we're gonna burn retrograde and circularize. Okay, that, that works for now. We still have to fix that inclination. So we'll go ahead and start working on that. Plan our maneuver for it and warp to it. Get this burn out of the way. We're shooting for about 150,000 here, so that's what we'll go for. All right, almost there, a little more. That, that looks good. 153,000 meters, roughly. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and launch the first hydrogen tank here. Uh, skipping the builds on today's rockets, we're just gonna gonna fly them, especially since there's multiple rockets to to launch here and rendezvous with. It's gonna end up being a long video, no matter what. A little bit of a wobbly rocket here, but we're gonna let it ride. It gets the job done. Shoot for about 75,000 here. Might be rough with the... No, we got it. That was perfect with those uh, solid fuel boosters. So we'll continue burning prograde to circularize here. Get this thing into orbit. Alright. Go ahead and burn for our last little bit. All right, here, we're just gonna skip up to min miss here. And go ahead and burn retrograde to circularize. All right, we'll go ahead and warp around here and begin working on our rendezvous. Matching our orbit with our fuel station there, the main hub. Go ahead and set our target. Okay, so we're going to fix our inclination and then we're going to just get it close because we're really tight on Delta V. I end up with less than 100 after this maneuver right here. We had to flip our orbit around because we were going the wrong way. All right, so here we'll uh, fix our inclination with a small burn. Warp around here, and we're gonna we're gonna match the uh, apoapsis with with the orbit of the part there pretty well, and then just let time get us a a nice rendezvous all right so after some warping and more warping and then here we're we're finally back around and we get a really nice intersection here Go ahead and 
get everything set up for a retrograde burn. Just we're not really 1.8 meters per second per second difference in velocity there in relation to our main hub. So we'll go ahead and uh, time warp to our closest intersection here. And then burn towards target. All right, that's looking good. We'll go ahead and warp a little more, get a little closer. We're under 100 delta V at this point, which is enough if we keep things. We don't want to get going too fast or anything like that, you know, use our all our fuel going one direction. So we'll get this done with time warps. All right, we'll go ahead and kill off that speed and burn towards target again. I don't know why the fuel station's spinning up there. All right, we'll bring it inside 100 meters per second here, or 100 meters, rather, and then kill off our speed. And then we will get these vessels lined up with each other. And we'll kill off our speed right about here. And select this docking port, set it as our target. And go ahead and point at it. We can do the same with the station part here. Select this one as our target and get pointed at it. Right, flipping around there and we'll go back to our fuel tank and do a little bit of a burn towards our target. We only need about a meter per second here. There we go, we're looking good, perfectly lined up. All right, there we go. So that is our first hydrogen tank connected. And we can go ahead and work on the second. Alright, so we're uh, launching our second fuel tank here. We're just going to skip to the rendezvous here. Let's show you a little few bits of the launch, but it's pretty much the exact same as the last, so. We are here at our rendezvous, and we'll, we're going to get things lined up again, just like the last time. Select that docking port, get lined up, and vice versa for our main part here. Right, awesome. That's that's going to be a lot of fuel for us. So, there's no mining on Minmus, unfortunately, yet, or in this game at all. So, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. We'll have to just launch tanks up here and transfer all the fuel in them, and that's the only way we're going to be able to refuel the station here. But uh, that'll that'll work for now. I can uh, I can do those those missions off camera and then just shoot the the deep space missions from now on using this as my fuel station. All right, so we're just uh, gonna get rid of the booster. And 
get working on launching our other tanks. Methane tanks. And we're back at the launch pad to launch our methane tank. It's, uh, I skipped the, skipped the build again. Just uh, gonna show you some highlights of the launch here. And we're uh, working on our orbit to get in that rendezvous with our station part again. Fix an inclination. We're gonna start working on the rendezvous. That looks pretty good, here we go. Within a thousand meters should work. We can time warp after we get in this position for a retrograde burn and bring it in a lot closer into a thousand meters. All right. We'll go ahead and kill off our speed and then burn towards our target. So this is the second to last launch and rendezvous I will be doing for this. We are going to leave it at two tanks for now. I'll probably launch some periodically. So if you see this later with more tanks, that's what happened. You know, I probably refilled and just left the, the tank hooked up because that's what I plan to do until this thing's full. But uh, two will work for now, so we're going to leave it at that. And this is probably one of the most janky dockings I've ever done. Uh, I couldn't really, for some reason, that's, that's the best it could get me. It wouldn't really line up right. So I had to kind of like free freehand it. So basically all adjustments uh, with the station here had to be done manually. So I didn't really plan for this, but the positioning of the tank there allowed me just to swing in and dock just like that with, I, I don't know if my docking tolerance, I, it's default medium difficulty. But uh, that seems like a really high docking tolerance. Might want to adjust that. And here we're going to launch our last meth or yeah, methane tank and skip the launch again. We're going to just get in here to the to the rendezvous. And once again, we're going to kill off speed here and burn towards our target and then get everything oriented for a better dock. Here we go. Same thing. I don't really have any control. There's no uh, automated control, no SAS for this. It just wouldn't, wouldn't get me pointed all the way. So I go ahead and just manually maneuver this thing around. And then hop back to the other vessel and burn towards it. Here we go, we're gonna select that dock as our target. And go ahead and burn towards it. And hope it goes well. There we go, that was a little fast, so we're gonna we're gonna kill off some of that speed. Yep, that was a little fast. That, that was a little dangerous, but we got it, so no worries. All right, so we're going to bring it up to about a meter per second after we get our final adjustments made to the station here. There we go. I'm just using using warp to to kill off my any movement I have cuz it's just easier. A little more risky because we could uh, get off with our vessel a little more. But uh, it's working pretty well. We should have it here. 
we're just going to take it nice and slow. Um, actually, I want to make a little adjustment to this. Ooh, that was rough. Nice. Just in time, I'm able to turn it. And we hooked up. All right, so there we go. I'll get this stuff decoupled. And here we are in our final form for now. Um, this is all the tanks, like I said, that'll be that'll be hooking up for now, but it's definitely got plenty of room for expandability. We got medium docking ports on each end, uh, small docking ports on the end of the tanks there, the methane tanks, and then we have those hubs that all have docking ports on them. So definitely some room for expandability, but for now, that's all I have. So as always, I really appreciate you watching and I'm trying to grow the channel. So if you could, uh, leave a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And, but, uh, if not just you watching has already been enough. So I really appreciate it.